Today we will review the new Dark Apostle model. I have been looking forward to this model a lot. I'm playing word bearers and today we have finally a plastic kit that uh, also includes the uh, Dark Disciples and we also have new rules for the Dark Apostle and we will talk all about that in just a bit but first we will open this box okay so what do we have on the other side some nice close-ups on the details <laughs> the lovely flaming torches on the on the backpack the books of Vlorgar there is the detail on the head the guy has tiny little horns on the forehead I wonder if there are multiple head options there is it? This looks like the same hat to me. And then the new Dark Disciples. We have the small bases for the Dark Apostles. We have a building manual. Okay, do we have any any extra options? Okay, here are the new rules and we will get to this after I build the model. Cool, let's look at the sprue. So there are two of them. There is the... Okay, so there is the Dark Apostle himself, his body uh, with an accursed Crozius his backpack, the lovely detailed book with the words of Lorgar and here are the Dark Disciples we have a few extra things here decorations the desecrated purity seals his cloak all right let's build this guy all right so there is the dark apostle built along with his dark disciples these models just ooze the dark gothic atmosphere when i look at these little guys you know what comes to my mind immediately have you seen the monty python holy grail movie the monks. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> this is uh, this is what uh, comes to my mind when I when I look at these guys. I love them. Just for the size comparison, first for the Dark Disciples, they are basically the size of the cultists. So here we have some cultists. If you if you are not buying this kit and you just want to add the Dark Disciples to the Dark, dark Apostle, I think uh, you, you will be good just by adding some of the cultists. This one looks like it could serve that purpose. Even though, you know, the Dark Disciples do not have any close combat weapons. And the Dark Apostle itself. I love the model. Here is his accursed Crozius. This time they went with a conservative style. For comparison, here is the old model. Well, the previous model. Sorry for the paint job. I got this guy uh, of eBay, so he needs a new paint job. And I will treat him to a new paint job eventually. But first I will paint the new guy. But you can see a lot of similarities between these two he doesn't have the uh, iron halo or however this um, this thing is called the accursed crozius is different he's holding a book in his hand by the way there is a relic in the vigil as a blaze for the dark apostles 
where the book is actually a flamer weapon. Pretty, pretty cool relic. And I want to show you one more thing. So, before there were any Dark Apostle models, I started building my Dom Dominicans like warband, which is a renegade chapter. This is the leader, the Dark Apostle. Dominic de Guzman. So I converted this guy from Space Marine Chaplain. I have replaced uh, the head of the Eckhurst Crozius and I've added horns. Uh, this, this was probably my best work uh, back in the day. I even rolled a little bit of um, fluff for him. And you can check it out on my Cool mini or not gallery. I will I will put a link uh, under the video into the description. But back to the new dark apostle, along with his little dark disciples. So I think that this is the best addition to the chaos army in this release in Individuals Ablaze. So previously the Dark Apostle had only a single aura buff that he was uh, giving uh, to the models around him and uh, it was to uh, re-roll uh, the hit rolls in the fight phase. This was replaced with the prayers to the Dark Gods. Let me read you the actual wording. This model can chant prayers it knows the dark zealotry prayer hello and one prayer from the prayers to the dark gods at the start of each battle round you can pick one of the prayers this model knows and roll a d6 on a three plus this prayer is heard that prayer takes effect until the end of the battle round the same prayer cannot be chanted more than once per battle round by any model in your army whether it is hurt or not. Same thing uh, as you have with the spells. Um, in the matched play you cannot use the same spell twice. You need to roll a 3 plus to uh, make the prayer go off, but the Dark Disciples actually improve uh, the draw by one. So if you have any Dark Disciples next to your Dark Apostle, you will get a plus one uh, to your prayer roll and there are even uh, stratagems that allow you to improve that role. So you are pretty much guaranteed to get the role if you take into account that you can also use that command point reroll. You do them at the start of the battle round, which is pretty cool. You can do that before your opponent goes. And in addition to that, these are not spells. They, they cannot be cancelled. They cannot be denied. I don't think that any any of his stats have changed very much. He still has 4 plus uh, invulnerable save, which is Sigil of Corruption. He has Death to the False Emperor. He has Demagogue, uh, which means that uh, units within 6 inches of this model in the Moral Phase can use uh, his uh, leadership instead of their own. And then we have the Prayers to the Dark Gods. So he knows the Dark Zealotry, which is the old reroll to hits in the fight phase within six inches. But now there are six universal prayers. And in addition to that, there are four God-specific prayers. The God-specific prayers are not that interesting. They usually do the stuff that you would expect. For example, the corn says, if this prayer is heard, add two to this priest's strength characteristics. And they are similar for the other gods. But there are a couple of the prayers which are amazing. So the first one, the benediction of darkness. If this prayer is heard, pick one friendly legion unit within six inches of the priest. Subtract one from hit rolls made for attacks with ranged weapons that target that unit. This is the same thing that Miasma of Pestilence does. The Miasma of Pestilence is the one most used spell in the Death Guard armies. So, Benediction of Darkness 
super good and the fact that you can do it before the battle round so even if you go second you can still buff your unit with the mono minus one to hit fantastic we have litany of despair if this prayer is heard your opponent rolls 2d6 discarding the lowest result each time they make a morale test uh, for a unit within six inches of this priest okay you can stack this with uh, some other abilities that um, lower the leadership of enemy models the next one is omen of potency if this prayer is heard add three to these priests attacks characteristics in addition if this prayer is heard this priest's melee weapon have an armor penetration characteristic of minus four wow so this will make actually a close combat beast out of your dark, dark apostle just imagine what you can do if you have a war bearer army and you give him the relic accursed crozius pretty cool next is the warp side plea if this prayer is heard pick one friendly legion unit within six inches of this priest add one to hit rolls for attacks made with ranged weapons by models in that unit another super useful prayer next soul terror portent if this prayer is heard pick one friendly legion unit within six inches of this priest add one to the wound rolls for attacks made by made with melee weapons by models in that unit and the last one illusory supplication if this prayer is heard friendly legion models have a five plus invulnerable save while they are within six inches of this priest this is another super cool thing especially for for models that have multiple wounds and uh, do not have invulnerable save it, it doesn't say anything about uh, vehicles so I, I think that you can actually apply these two vehicles what I like the most are the two defensive abilities so number one benediction of darkness and number six illusory supplication the dark disciples themselves are well they are not good at combat they are not good at shooting they are they are there just to um, help uh, chant the prayers to your dark apostle they cost five point each you can take two of them and they have character rule the dark apostle himself costs 150 points i think this is a, a pretty good deal for what he can do in my opinion and once i get back to my warbearers army i might try to run three of them